Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So unfortunately I'm here to be the bearer of bad news today and that is that All Mobility is shutting their doors, they're shutting down their company and they're not going to be making a new BlackBerry phone. Which leaves us in a pretty unfortunate position because that was the last hope that we had for a new BlackBerry phone. And I wasn't even gonna make a video about this. I had already recorded a video for today and then the news went, I guess, public with Amorability updating their website. You can go check out their farewell goodbye message, amorability.com, and see what they have to say. Mostly it's just a thank you everyone, shutting down our business and we're not making the phone. It's unfortunate, not what they wanted, and of course it's not what we want or wanted either. We wanted them to succeed because of course, this was our last chance basically at getting a new BlackBerry phone. It gave us hope for a little while and it looked like things were going good for a while until they weren't. And of course there was no communication over the last year. They missed the deadline. And then after that it was, well, are they still in business? Are they alive? I mean, they had to make a statement and an update saying, dude, you know, contrary to popular belief, we're still alive. And they made that just over a month ago and now they're not alive. They're gone. So, uh, a lot of things changed here in the last couple of weeks that caused that to happen. Unfortunately, I can't talk about that, but it's a very sad state of affairs. And, you know, I am, I am grateful that maybe at least they gave us hope for a little while. It looked like it was going to happen. The times that I did come in front of you and say, look, it's happening. Yeah, there were things going on behind the scene. The phone was still supposed to be happening. And there was actually some exciting news about it up until a couple weeks ago. And that's why they had come out and they said, look, we're still alive, the phone's still happening. And then, like that, the light switch got turned off and then we ended up where we're at now. So, unfortunately, we're not gonna get a new BlackBerry phone, which is terrible for those of us still hanging on to the BlackBerry name and, and, and really love their phones because it leaves us without any hope for a new phone. And we've been through this before. But it looks particularly bad now, especially with BlackBerry selling their patents off to this catapult company. Uh, Yes, they're licensed back to BlackBerry, so there's no disruption and whatever may still be using those patents. But other than that, uh, this was our last best hope, at least for now. Uh, and who knows if there's ever gonna be another opportunity. I think there's still a marketplace for a physical keyboard. At least we still got companies like Planet Computers and Unihertz, these little mom pop micro companies that are still making some sort of a keyboard presence. But other than that, it's basically slab phones and the new foldable phones. That's kind of the new cool thing. But I really didn't want to make this video. Uh, quite honestly, I didn't really want to talk about it anymore because this has been going on for a very long time that we've not had any update, nothing positive to talk about with regard to the brand or the phone. But uh, this is seems like farewell to Amorability. I do want to say thank you to them for at least trying. I mean, we will give them credit for that and at least giving people hope and belief for a little while that we were going to have a new phone and I guess that's about all I can say. I do know they tried hard. They tried very hard to bring this phone to market. I appreciate that effort. Uh, I wish we could have gotten the phone. It would have been great. It would have been a really, really good phone that people could have enjoyed for a long time. And sadly, now that's not gonna happen. So that's about all I got. Not a whole lot in this video. Uh, what I can tell you is that I'm going to make a video in the near future talking about options for people that need a new phone. I know there's been a lot of people that have put off getting a new phone for a long time, waiting for this, expecting it to happen. And with it not being here, with BlackBerry 10 going end of life, I know some people are still holding on to those phones. Then there's the BlackBerry mobile devices, the Key 1, Key 2, Key 2 LE, and the Motion. Those are still serviceable for a while if you can find a network to use them on. But one day those are gonna have to be replaced too. So I will make that video, I will talk about it. There are a lot of cool phones out there. I mean, this is probably a really exciting time for phones if you don't want a phone that has a keyboard. That's that's the sad news. You've got the folding phone, the flip phone with Samsung. You've got the Surface Duo with Microsoft. You've got the Motorola Razr. They're supposed to be making a new one. And there's all the other cool phones. I've got this neat Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. There's a lot of options out there, but unfortunately, trying to have a new flagship 5G fantastic BlackBerry phone is just off the table. And who knows if it will ever be back on the table again. We'd like to hope so, but it looks worse and worse, especially with BlackBerry being very adamant about being a software and security services company and doing everything they can to get as far away from the phone industry as possible. They do not want to be known as a phone company, which still, with them taking that position, was ironic to me because they licensed out the, the patents and the IP to make a new BlackBerry to another company. So I, I think at some 
root level, they understand that there's a need for this and that people want a physical keyboard on a phone, but right now it's not looking good and I don't really know that there's any hope right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Short, sweet, unfortunately, I, I'm stuck being the bearer of bad news, but I feel a certain level of accountability for letting you guys know I've been covering BlackBerry for years and years. I know there's a lot of BlackBerry followers here that appreciate the videos that I made. I, of course, love BlackBerry. They've been my most favorite phone brand ever of all time. And this is like the fourth or fifth time in the last decade we've had to say BlackBerry's dead. <laughs> I mean, I don't know really how many times we can have this conversation, but who knows? Maybe the Phoenix will rise again. But as of right now, there's basically nothing uh, in, the, in the BlackBerry world when it comes to phones. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, you want to talk about it, uh, go down to the comment section. We can have some discussion there. It's unfortunate we're in this position. A lot of us really wanted this to happen. And unfortunately, the reality uh, is not line up with our expectations or our hopes. So that's all I've got in this video. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. But as always, thank you for everything. Thank you for your support. Have a good weekend, if possible. And I'll see you guys next time.